tool is actually, you know, we've already done this, so it's, I can show you how it's done, but it's not necessarily going to be a good before and after. But the first thing we do is you want to clean them, and we use scrubbing bubbles as a starting point because it helps with uh, get the sap off, which is just coating, coating the tool, letting it soak in. And if it's dirty, you'll see the dirt coming right up, and you wipe, you just wipe that off. Generally, you get a lot of dirt. We've done these before. You might do that one or two times. If they're really dirty, you may actually have some additional work to do, either with a wire brush, just you know, scrubbing, scrubbing that down, or even steel wool. If it's, if, for example, if they're rusty or have some, so. And if I were scrubbing this a little bit long, you'd start to see the shine come on. But you don't necessarily, as long as it's smooth, it's probably good enough. It doesn't have to be shiny. But these, these are both very smooth, the cleaning. So you go through that first. And then with a bypass printer, you want to sharpen on just one side. You want to look at where the bevel is. And you want to hone it down that, similar to what you might do with a kitchen knife. And we've got some different tools over here. There's a there's a stone, and the and the stone you just get it at the right angle, and you sharpen that blade. And this is this is a different type of tool that has diamond dust on it. It's a similar same type of principle where you would just. And the whole thing is you're removing metal in order to get a good uh, a good uh, sharp edge on it. And then the final final example that I have is this carbide blade right here in this Swiss eye store. And for that, you just get the right angle, and then you just you just scrape it down the length of the blade, and it just takes off just a little bit of metal there, and sharpens things up. And you do that as much as you need to. Now it's flat on the other side, so you don't do any sharpening there unless there's a burr on it. You take the burr off the other side, but. You generally just rub oh, yeah. your finger on it. If it's smooth, you just let it you just let it be. So I have to try to get the stuff away from and, this. Uh, I can feel it's just a little right rough right there. there, so I'm just gonna want it to turn. Right. smooth it off a little so bit. And then that's what I was trying to once that's done, the last thing you do is you just want to get some oil down in the mechanism. And uh, that would be a household oil, that three in one. <laughs> Where you just you just put it in, let it let it work itself down into the mechanism, and then once that's there, you can wipe it off. You spread the oil around the rest of the blade because that'll help prevent any rust, and you're all done. Thank you.